is that so much uh, of what we have seen in movies and television are symbols. Are you aware that um, that I have been talking to some doctors in Los Angeles who have been doing some research on this, and I find it to be absolutely fascinating that many of the gangs, the uh, Latino and the black gangs in the major cities across America, their graffiti that they are spraying on uh, buildings, their graffiti are actually Masonic emblems and Masonic seals and symbols. And I have seen a whole collection that these doctors, and these are medical doctors, but they are interested in this subject. And they have been collecting hundreds of pictures of uh, graffiti and showing the research into the ancient secret societies. And there's no way that these black and Latino gangs could know these symbols. There, the, there's definitely a connection between the gangs and some sort of a higher orchestrated mind behind the warfare going on between gangs. I don't think those gangs are by chance. I think that they have been nurtured and orchestrated and, and promoted and even financed. I mean, if you think about it, how uh, those gangs have money to travel around they can buy guns they can they can roam around they don't have to work where are they getting their money from well not only that but their main occupation is is the uh, narcotics business of and, course. and fomenting uh, chaos confusion and fear right and uh, they haven't they haven't got the background of understanding learning uh, uh, to put together the kind of logistics network that it would take to supply this kind of an enterprise. Absolutely. So someone with an awful lot of money, an awful lot of organization, an absolute ability to provide 100% protection is supplying these city gangs. It's not the mafia. You can bet on it. You can bet <laughs> this is a very sophisticated, uh, a totally protected organization. Absolutely. As a matter of fact, the San Francisco Chronicle had a, two full pages in one of their newspapers I still have where they were talking about how the uh, this federal government was bringing in narcotics from Asia during the Vietnam War in the bodies of American servicemen that was being killed in Vietnam and they were bringing in bags of pure heroin and pure narcotics from Asia in the bodies of American servicemen and what were they doing with it? They were, they were giving it directly to the Mafia because the Mafia is doing uh, a little tricks for the government. It takes care of business for the government so they have to be paid. Well, let, let's clarify one thing here. It's not the government. It, well, is, it, is, it is these the secret societies who are operating behind our government. That's correct, exactly. behind the, the veil of national security. Yeah. And uh, I, I might remind you that uh, back in history when Albert Pike and Giuseppe Mazzini were corresponding and were setting up the, the core uh, foundation of the Illuminati within Freemasonry, both in their respective countries, and at that time, of course, Albert Pike was the Grand Commander of Freemasonry throughout the world, and Giuseppe Mazzini was his counterpart mm -hmm. uh, on, 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 in Europe on a lower level. It was Giuseppe Mazzini who created and fostered and gave the charter to the what is now known as the Mafia. That's right, because the Nostra was Mazzini. That's the correct. Masonic Order. That no is doubt right. about it. And this explains the close cooperation between, between government and the Mafia. That is right.